Have you ever wondered how a car can come to a stop so suddenly? Well, it's actually thanks to fluids in action. Today we're exploring the differences between pneumatic and hydraulic systems. Both systems use fluids to transfer and control force, but the main difference lies in the type of fluid they use and how that affects how they work. In pneumatic systems, the fluid being used is a gas, typically air. In these systems, compressed air is used to power machines or move parts. For example, pneumatic systems are used in things like air brakes on buses, pneumatic drills, or even the air pumps you use to fill up your tires. The big advantage of pneumatic systems is that air is readily available. And since gases are more easily compressible, pneumatic systems can store energy when the air is compressed. This means that when the compressed air is released, it can generate quick, forceful movements. On the other hand, hydraulic systems use a liquid, usually oil or water, to transmit force. Hydraulic systems are found in machinery like car brakes, bulldozers, and airplane landing gear. Liquids, unlike gases, are not easily compressible, which means that when a liquid is pressurized, it transmits force more smoothly and efficiently. Hydraulic systems are known for their power and precision, making them ideal for heavy-duty applications that require lifting or pushing heavy loads. So, the key difference between these two systems is the type of fluid they use. Pneumatic systems rely on compressed air, a gas, while hydraulic systems use a liquid. Pneumatic systems are typically used in applications that require quick, light movements, while hydraulic systems are used in situations where high power and precision are needed. Now, let's dive into the difference between liquids and gases in terms of their compressibility and how this affects their technological applications. Compressibility is all about how much a substance can be squished or compressed into a smaller volume. Gases are highly compressible because there's a lot of space between their particles. When you compress a gas, its particles are pushed closer together and it takes up less space. This is why you can store a lot of air in something like a compressed air tank or a tire. The ability to compress gases makes them ideal for pneumatic systems, where compressed air can be stored and then released to create forceful quick movements. This property is what allows pneumatic tools to work. When the compressed air is released, the gas rapidly expands, driving the tool forward. On the other hand, liquids are not very compressible. The particles in a liquid are already packed relatively close together, so applying pressure doesn't make much difference in terms of volume. This low compressibility is why liquids are used in hydraulic systems. When you pressurize a liquid in a hydraulic system, the pressure is transmitted almost instantly and evenly through the liquid, allowing for smooth, powerful movements. Since liquids can't be compressed easily, they provide a steady, consistent force, which is perfect for applications that require precision and strength, like lifting heavy machinery or controlling braking systems. So, the big picture is that gases are highly compressible which makes them perfect for applications where you want to store and release energy quickly, like in pneumatic systems. Liquids, with their low compressibility, are ideal for applications where you need consistent, powerful force, like in hydraulic systems. This difference in compressibility is what makes each type of system suited for specific technological applications. That's it for today's lesson. Whether it's the fast, forceful motion of pneumatic tools or the steady, powerful lifting of hydraulics, each system plays a key role in making machines and technology work smoothly.